So we're now just outside of Glen Haven, Colorado, not far from Estes Park. And as we move up the canyon, the metamorphic conditions get higher and higher, meaning that the pressure and temperature that caused the recrystallization to form the metamorphic rocks got higher and higher, which another way to look at it means the rocks were deeper and deeper in the crust of that 1.7 billion year old mountain belt that caused the metamorphism. Now, outside of Glenhaven, these rocks are quite nice because they have begun to melt. And so we call the rock type a migmatite gneiss. Gneiss is a number of metamorphic rocks that have compositional layering, and migmatite gneisses are those gneisses that have gone through partial melting. We see that there's light layers and darker layers within the rock. And if we look at many of the lighter layers, they look just like granite, because essentially they are. The light colored layers are the melt produced during that metamorphism. That melt gets squeezed out of the areas that aren't being melted. They group up into these light colored layers that we call the leucosome. And because they're a material that crystallized from a felsic magma, they look just like granite and essentially they are. The darker colored layers are rich in biotite and other metamorphic minerals. And that is the material that hasn't melted as of yet. And this material, when it melts, it gives off a more felsic magma that produces the leucosomes that we see here or the layers of partial melt.